Welcome to your OC Sucks, the weekly podcast where we review and critique the best and the worst band created original characters from the My Little Pony fandom. This show is unscripted, unfiltered, so my language will be used. As well, this show can be a little heavy on the critique at times. That being said, if you're easily offended, do not watch. If not, feel free to join us for this week's show. This is episode 72 for July 31st, 2015. This week, we're changing things up a bit with this week's theme. Hang on and listen as we talk about some ponies that bug us and some that have changed our opinion of OCs. My name is Mofi Thunderbirds. I'm the host and show manager. I am joined by... Commander Sparkle, assistant project manager. Medi Bobo, I'm in charge of gathering questions and view interaction. And I'm Smooth Sailing, and I'm the editor. And like I said in that intro, this week... We are going to be taking a look at some changeling ponies. We're going to be our resident smooth sailing, the local expert on changelings and changeling behavior and lifestyle choices and whatnot will be on hand to give us all the backstory. I don't know. I'm, I don't know where I'm going with this joke, but <laughs> you're, you're not going anywhere with that. All fine. That's the thing. But you know where I am going to straight to that fan art because we got a bunch to talk about this week. Mm-hmm. Not nearly as much as last time. Thank goodness. Trolley! 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 Man, I hate that we didn't get to talk about the stream art that we got two weeks ago as much as mm. we could have. But man, played Kirby Superstar again, and that was a lot of fun. Like, a lot, a lot of fun. Yes. Also, uh, Commander got his uh, gender bet picture from uh, Starlight Drops. Mm-hmm. 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 I'm, I'm kind of digging yeah. it. I like it a lot. What you- yeah, 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 it's, it's great. I mean, it's fucking... Love it. Seriously, guys. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> like, 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 what the fuck, guys? This has been a joke since literally episode one. <laughs> and in the past, like, three weeks, it's just exploded. I don't understand it. I now, I now have... How many fucking pictures do I even have in this goddamn folder? I have two pages of lined paper fan art in a folder of just things having to do with line paper. Two pages! Two almost full pages. Like, what the fuck? No, but, but seriously, I, I do I do like it. And I don't even... I, I think I, one of my favorite ones now, though, is is the line paper fan art that I'm the only one not in line paper. <laughs> That's Silver and Jade Chargery. Well, I mean, recently. talking about you and not liking line paper, you have that poor commander piece. Ah. Uh, no more line of paper. It hurts. I actually, I actually do. I actually, I, I find it kind of funny, but I also like getting pissed off about it because I'm just like, God damn it, you motherfuckers! Also, Yox brand T-shirts coming, coming 2017. 20 Oh God! That's a great piece of fan yeah. art we got from Cutie Pencil Case. Um, which, which one? one? We've gotten it's, we it's, like we, we got, got a, a lot bunch. of good art from them, I like re- especially really the last lo- time. Also, I want to point out that we had like. Four pictures involving Medi here with his old colors. <laughs> the yeah. gender bent family family squad. The where else was it? It was the master color race confusion. one. Color confusion. And there was one other one. Col- that you... Color confusion. Color confusion. No, no color, color confusion, confusion is. is... Right. Oh wait, no, yeah, no. I, I was yeah, the hell is wrong with you? Wrong... I was looking at the wrong. He part. was really confused about those colors. <laughs> I was. <laughs> Sunny drew smooth as a girl. Yeah. Yeah. Fem- female smooth is best smooth. Tranquil travels best. Also us gender bent. Sparkling adopts pony. Um, made more. And freaking, you guys are all like so mad. And I'm just like, yeah. yeah. I think I'm more concerned. Yeah, I'm, mad for, I'm mad for a different reason. <laughs> no, it's, I, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what you could possibly do. <laughs> literally, <laughs> literally, if you look in the description, mollified, my mustache! M- oh, Medi Bobo pukes. I don't know why he's puking. <laughs> and I'm like, fuck you. <laughs> Just because there's goddamn fucking line fucking paper. Fan and reason why I'm, I'm about to puke is that we all lost our cutie marks in the process. <gasps> oh, I mean, that's a good point. Anyway. Oh, yeah. It doesn't matter. Also, I still need it to be Smooth there. just like, Smooth just like, oh, there it is. I no, you're, for you you're guys. puking because you went back to your old colors. Oh, yeah. That's exactly... <laughs> That's good stuff. The combination of the two. Went back to the old days of touchpad tablet. Man, I love our fan art sometimes. Like, 
yeah, like seriously. Yeah, I wish I could talk about more of it because, like, I seriously, really there's a could. lot of really good stuff. But like, seriously, like, I can't. If I talked about each piece as much as I wish I could, it would take just way too long. Mm-hmm. I got a comic thing that's like a silent comic having to do with uh, lined, like lined paper and stuff like that. It's pretty, pretty cute and funny. Yeah, it was. The, it was really, it was really heartwarming. Though I was really confused. Why, why does the, um, uh, whoever. The, 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 like the, the, this person, why why do they why do they bring up a like a like a paintbrush? And how does it have paint on it if it came out of the water? I'm just really confused by that. Like that's the old. That was like one of the first things I thought about when I saw this comic. I was like, how does that work? Way to go, Commander. It's so really cute, but I was just like, how? Way to go, Commander. Anyway, uh, moving on from this, it feels good to be back to a regular episode. And last week we had our little uh. Well, I had you, a little trot. I was like, one. you had your little thing. Well, it, it was fun. You guys got a week off, right? I mean, you enjoyed yeah, it. Yeah, I won't complain about that. Yeah. Uh, though I do not know why it had that weird left audio on it. I have no idea. There's something wrong with my program, but I need to figure that out. You but, need to just do some tweaking and stuff. Yep. In the meantime, though, this is an OC review show. So let's get Are into sure? some OC reviews. Is that, is that what we do? Yeah, that's something we do on this show. I totally forgot. So... Uh, rolling the die of eight. Looks like we rolled a four this week, so that means that Smooth gets to go first with his changeling. Well, how fitting is that? Like, Mr. Changeling himself gets to start off this week. Yeah, yeah. Whoa, wait, 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 wait a second. Smooth's a changeling. Oh, yeah, you didn't know that? Oh, fuck. Wait. Crap. <laughs> I'm a changeling. This is Rainbow Dust, also known as Toxic Munchkin. She was born, obviously, as a changeling in a really relaxed hive, so probably not Chrysalis's hive, because they're always on the verge of starvation. But while she was there, she got got kind of a good idea. You know, usually the changeling ideal is to disguise as one pony who's really close to one other pony and then just, like, kind of siphon away a lot of love from that one to be fed. What if... What if we disguise as a pony and get a little bit of love from a lot of people so no one is the wiser and I still get fed? Yeah. You know, that's genius. So on that day, she decided that she would go into pony society and become a pop singer. She went in there, took the disguise of a, a slightly different looking earth pony has that star i assume is not like face paint or anything i assume that's actually part of the coat she takes and uh she just gave herself a really simple looking cutie mark because what the hell does it matter you changeling you don't care about that crap dude she's a star yeah exactly she's a star and that's it's so basic. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> it's so basic that it's that it's like I I can see how somebody would just like if they're changing them they're just like oh fuck what am I gonna do? Um, ah, I'm a pop star. Exactly. I look like a pop star. I am a star. This is it's I genius. Have a star I on my love face. it. <laughs> uh, should, that's when she took the name Rainbow Dust. So at first she performed like really small free concert stuff like that for. I, wh- whichever village she went to so she could get by and eventually she just started growing and growing in popularity so she could actually very well feed herself and also I don't know just be very well known and <laughs> she's a changeling just all that attention right on you you're a changeling no one knows uh, she spends most of her time working on her next songs and stuff like that, so she can stay popular, stay with and all that. Uh, Most of them revolve around the sky, rainbows, and flight, so a large portion of her audience in her fan base is within the Pegasi. Um, She also has a really soft, silky singing voice, and, and her cute looks also very much so help with her popularity. Um... Isn't she an Earth Pony? Like, yeah, like the 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 caricature she's playing. Yeah. Yes. 
Yeah. Why are she assuming someone's about flying in the sky? <laughs> that doesn't really make any sense to me. Hey, no one's realized it yet. <laughs> Man, people are really fucking dumb. Every time I fly, she can't fly. That's silly. Man, she must wish to fly all the time. It's a metaphorical thing. It's like, <laughs> like within your heart makes me fly. Her struggle is our struggle. Yeah. yeah. Except we can actually fly because most of them are Pegasi. But yeah, I mean, I like for the most part, though. I, like jo- joking aside, I I do like the the uh, idea of the Sosi. It's, I, I like it's freaking like, good. Like for a regular living in pony society thing, this is definitely like one of the smartest ways of doing it. Easily. Also, one of the most exclusive because like I can't imagine I can't imagine too many people can do that. Yeah. And who would suspect you? Like, seriously. Yeah, you're an icon. And once you get that popular and stuff? I like that. I like this story. It's very fun. It's very interesting. It's definitely like... <sighs> I don't know. There's like a there's symbolism behind it as well, but I'm not smart enough to think of it right now. <laughs> Too deep for you. Too deep for me. I like love the look that she took. Because it just looks generic pop star. Yeah. It, it's like really, really good. It's so bad that it's good. Exactly. <laughs> like you, you go over, you go over to this land. You're obviously not one of them, but you can take the disguise of one of them whenever the hell you want to. You go over, but you don't want to take one of their looks because that'll be way too obvious. You need to make one yourself. Um, what the hell do I look like? I mean, they're all just like a bunch of pastel-colored horses. Like, what the hell ever, you know? Uh, this color, this color, and like these colors, I guess, and like a star on the butt. What if you disguised yourself as a famous pony, and then you went to like a record label, and then gave yourself a recommendation? Would that work? Because honestly, that would make more sense. Because you don't just decide you're going to be a pop star. You manipulate the system into becoming a pop star. I exactly. Was a, I was at an uh, uh, indie show the other day, and I listened to this uh, one mare, and she just sounded fantastic, so we should sign her. Yes, And the changeling turned into a pony with bad vocal cords, and they were like fucking the Beatles all of a sudden lose all record deals. Changelings could fuck some shit up, let me just say. Not like, even fucking shit up physically. Yeah, like, honestly, I, I, I really want to read, like, a good story where changelings just fuck with, like, how, like, everything is. Yeah. Man. But that's not this show. We gotta talk no, about no, this no, one. Was, yeah. The social just, political things that changelings the, could do. The socioeconomic political bullshit. Aesthetic. I mean, for the changeling itself, it just seems to be like a standard drone. Exactly, so. and, and I for, like for that. that part. For that part, uh, yeah, uh, uh, yeah. It, why is, is there any reason the second eye is not there? Like, I get not being able to like draw the half eyes, but like, it's, it's, it's so much that it's 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 just. Eh, I mean, it eh, I, I it guess. Te- I guess technically at that angle, it maybe it should be there, but I don't know. Yeah, like there's yeah. there's a point. I mean, like, sure, but also, I mean, like, whatever. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, like, it's, not, it's like that's nitpicking, obviously. But I mean, there's not too much to talk about, so nitpicking's what I'll do. I, I mean, I, I, I really like when people just go average drone. Yeah. Yeah. Because, because it's like, unless there's a reason for not. Yeah, like, like, yeah, I don't a know. Chrysalis. Yeah, but Chrysalis is a special case, in my opinion. Yeah. She's a queen. I like the colors of rainbow dust. I, eh, I, I'm I'm not too fo- I'm not too fond of the blue, honestly. In the main, it's like eh. but the the blue is just like I feel though what like sets it as being so over the top that it's not a normal pony and it is a pop star. Yeah. See, that's so, that's why I'm like so eh, on a in design terms of level, actual. I like in it, actual, in terms of like, if they were just like a, if that was just a pony who you were just gonna like see all the time and like on the street, I'd probably be like, eh. 
I really, really like the concept that she's taken. It's freaking genius. Also, I freaking love how the looks of the pony go in with it. It's it's just beautiful, and I love it. Well, then, moving on from Smooth Zosi, we are going to roll the die of eight one more time. Looks like it rolled a two, so that means we get to take a look at what Commander brought to the party this week. Okie doke. So, the, uh, the changeling I brought this week is uh, Romero de Rose, uh, which is just the name that the changeling chose for his pony form. He just, like, it's a play on Romeo, and then he also has a, has a name for the female form, but that's beside the point. So... His, so his false cutie mark that he came up with is a blue book with a rose in front of it, which he claims to have it rep- have it be representative of his talent for writing romance novels, which is all part of this alias that he has set up for his like false person, where unlike some pony or some changelings that uh, OCs that you'll see, where it's like they just want to like live in pony society and they, they try to find a way to like feed off of people without being too harmful and stuff. This guy, he, he's a tricky fellow because he has this alias where he is like, uh, he rents a flat and he writes romance novels and poetry and stuff all to get with young women and like basically like kill them by taking all of their love. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just gonna summarize it really quickly. So, uh, he, like, and that he does a lot of things. Wasn't what? that the really quick summary? Yeah, that that was well, that mean, was that, a pretty that, quick that, summary. That, that, that was the that was the that well yeah that was the quick summary of like this is this is the basics of what it is. And he does a lot. There's a lot going into this t- that makes it work. Like like the like the design of the uh, the like, unicorn pony version. Like, how he has that, like, that scarf and, like, just his uh, general physique being very, like, slender and, like, sort of the person says it is kind of, like, almost the trender hoof body style. And, and I don't know if that's actually, how close that actually is. But, uh... He looks like he's some kind of handsome novelist stereotype. Yeah, and, and, like he's specifically made to be like a handsome, attractive uh, young man or whatever. He likes uh, himself, the long game, which is basically. It, oh yeah, actually, I forgot. He. This is one thing that's interesting is instead of just actually just going all out and just like like killing them instantly, he he figure thinks of that sort of as fast food and is boring and lazy. He goes for the long game where he like. Spends like a year or two with them, slowly like making them fall deeply in love with him, only to fuck them really hard in the end. Oh baby! Oh yeah! Fuck and them I'm really not hard in the end. Good way. He just sounds but, like uh, a dick. Yeah, in, 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 like in, hey, he has a dicks fuck it, people. It, it's true, but uh, when it, for his like actual the character he's created, he's like a charming, sensitive stallion, like. Wishing for some, to have some special Sumponia for his, himself, and like writes all this poetry about how he w- wants to fall in love, and then he's really a, like a narcissist, like just really like to, like bo- overly boastful of how cl- like clever his tr- uh, tricks are to other changelings, calling himself much more than a run of the mill drone, great good liar and actor, does all these things, and I just I love this so much because. All everything about this character is just like fits you. Together, if you <laughs> yeah, it's exactly. If obviously. you had an ounce of act in you, fuck you, <laughs> you think I could get with the women? <laughs> he seems like a good villain character for a fan fiction. Yeah, like I would totally like. I I don't know what the kind of story, how you'd set up a story that really well with this. This would definitely be in the mystery genre. Somewhere within the mystery genre, probably also romance. Would probably be like the slow or crime deconstruction yeah. of him from another pony's perspective, such as maybe a fan who slow who like goes the creeper level of stalking him as he brings home someone and finds out things about him. Yeah, it, yeah, and eventually like sees how things happen over time, and that and then they 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 are worried about coming forward with it because you know they've been creeping on them for like no, years. No. It could be a great relationship drama. Her best friend gets taken by Romo de Rose. And then, she, and then she has to deal with her friend not realizing 
what this is the very obvious thing that's right in front of her. Yeah, yeah. I can totally see how he like it plays out too in my head, which is it's it, like it, like pretty accurately. I feel like it's really just co- like cohesive, like a, a very cohesive character. I love it. But uh, can I move on to this aesthetics? I don't know. Can you? I, I don't know. Can I? I don't know. Can you? Do you uh, do you have apparently, the capacity to move really on to? Oh, Commander, may I? Thank you. Oh, fuck you. I, I, I kind of already briefly touched on the aesthetic stuff, but uh, I, I just for the for the pony form, I, I really love all the like the colors, all like the style, everything how everything's stylized, everything just works together great. And then for the changeling, I like it. I'm not sure how I feel listen because I, I know sometimes people like smooth likes it when it's like just a normal drone, which I find interesting that his. His mane and tail so closely resemble his actual his pony mane and tail, if that was intentional or not. But uh, well, I thought Smooth had like three stages of changelings. Yeah, but I I have okay, a drone form, a uh, mid form, and the pony form. However, this mid form is called the true form, whereas the drone form is, in my perspective, the true form. So I'm. I'm not digging it from my head cannon, but yeah. But that's the problem is that it's pretty much entirely head cannons. Yeah. So nobody's really right, and nobody's really wrong, which is really well, unfortunate because it makes it a lot harder the, to say what you're doing the right. The thing we have is that the only changeling who doesn't look like a drone in all the appearances of changelings in the show is Chrysalis and comics even. Yeah. Even in the comics, it's just drones and Chrysalis. Which honestly, in ter- given the fact that they're a bug species that has a hive re- resembling sort of like, you know, like structure ants. of like a beehive or an ant or like ants or something like that, where there's the queen, and then, and then just the workers, workers and drones. It, yeah, it just but makes with the ability sense. to change your body, I completely understand wanting to have custom <laughs> changeling forms. Yeah, yeah, and and the fandom we're in. If all, <laughs> yeah, yeah, all okay. of these changeling OCs, they all look exactly like drones. <laughs> what makes them special? You make them special! I mean, overall, I think this is a really well-constructed character that I could see being... Uh, like, if you if you if somebody wanted to take the time to write something for this, it would be pretty easy because you get a really great idea of exactly the kind of character that this uh, this would be from ju- just this description and that, pretty much that alone can tell you it. And I just, I was, I was glad when I read it, and I was like, "Wow, this is really fucking good." <laughs> cool. Well, I'm happy for you there, Commander. Uh, moving on, though, uh, rolling the die of fate, it looks like it rolled a one, so that means I get to go next. My character that I brought on is Harkin. Harkin is a uh, changeling that prefers a clean hunt and is very uh, concise and to the point. Other than, rather than other ponies who may think that uh, so like literally the opposite of my preying <laughs> off of uh, ponies oh, hey, and making hey, sure hey, that they uh, oh, hey, you know hey, have to sit there turn. and suffer oh, for a long what, time I isn't that great? So uh, <coughs> Rose, uh, um, and uh, I think that would work really well. You know, let's just let's just not mention the elephant in the room or anything like that. <laughs> Or the elephant <laughs> in this picture. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I don't see an elephant, but I do see Commander's OC. Touche, <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> touche, Mopa, touche. Harkin is very, like, uh, like he talks in very short, to the point uh, sentences. Very, like, he doesn't, f- f- like, be the big, long winded individual like uh, Romeo or Romero is. <laughs> And he Basically. sees that, like, Romero as being, like, wasteful and, like, wasting time as well as being an ass. See, like, how that pony was all about, like, oh, I'm just going to kill him anyway. Uh, Harkin is very, like, no, I am very traditional. Ugh, sorry. Traditional with the way that I uh, do this. I am going to, I'm not going to off ponies at the end. I am instead going to knock them out put them in a place, live in their lives for a little bit, feed off the love, and then put them back. Perfectly fine, none the wiser. So it's just like, there, done. And then it's like, apparently, though, 
Harkin differs because uh, this one, this person says that it's like, oh yeah, Harkin can feed off the love of other people just like every other changeling and kind of like sense their feelings and whatnot. But this one is uh, different because he can tell the capacity for love and the amount of heartbreak and emotional damage a pony has and the help that get gives him a boost on like other uh like when he's on the hunt or whatnot uh and he doesn't tell this other changelings because he doesn't want them to like that to get out and for him to take advantage of it so this one's very like i don't know it's very much more protective of his prey so to speak as opposed to like romero that's just a fucking asshole so he's like an honorable traditionalist, whereas um, uh, Romero was more of like a twisted artist kind of thing. Romero yes. is chaotic evil, where he is lawful evil. Ooh. They both do evil tasks, but they do it in different ways. You know, it's he says multiple times in his uh, thing that Harkin prefers a, quote, clean hunt where he will observe a couple learning their personality and behaviors of the male and when he is ready he will wait he will wait till the male pony is alone and then do the thing i really like the duality between these two from an aesthetic point because like Har- or romero's like the cool blue cold yeah i was gonna freaking say that he's like and it's Harkin's like the really warm. red and blue duality thing it's Freaking beautifully done in these two. Yeah, I, I like that. I also love okay. how both of their coats are not like completely gray, but they're off gray still. So they still like kind of work as in the changeling ish style, even for coat colors. And then the rest of them are actually like colored in ways that would sort of be changeling colors, I assume, if changeling colors worked like that. Oh, yeah, because I didn't quite mention this, but basically. For Romero, like, when he finds somebody, he then it goes through, like, the sort of stages of being drained of love that Shining Armor goes through, and then he leaves them in the woods. <laughs> I really like this character. I like the design of it as well, because there, there's definitely something that's being put more into this character's, like, design and everything. It feels a lot more holy. It feels a lot more full of holes. Sorry. Uh, feels a lot more full of holes, and there's like more design and style and personality behind this pony than your typical just random changeling. And I like that. I like it a lot. But uh, despite how much I like this pony, we are still going to have to move on to our final good OC of the night, which is Minnie's OC. So, Minnie, tell us all about the one you brought. Alrighty. Well, this is Molly Smiles. She kind of comes with her own little lore where she's not part of Chrysalis's hive. She's part of a different hive in another land. Her mother, a.k.a. the queen, is Queen Blackvane, which they don't really go too far into, but it's, she's not a Chrysalis pun. She has 235 brothers and sisters, mostly sisters. Also, she is the second oldest. Now that is impressive that we actually yeah. get to know one of the older ones. Uh, one of her uh, interests she took up a while back is uh, she could she changed into a pony once when she was very young, and she really liked it. And uh, she had to be convinced by her older brother to uh, change back. And he had to keep her in. Her older brother is the one who kept changelings in line as well, being the oldest of the pack. Ooh. Uh, she is a joyful, silly, and positive type of person. Uh, but she's also clumsy, a little clingy at times, and... Doesn't get sad too often, but she does have a short attention span. Which I feel like those traits actually work together. Yeah, it's like... I guess it's kind of the general ditzy-ish kind of personality archetype. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, when she was younger, she got separated in a storm from her uh, flock, and she decided that the only thing she could do is change into a pony. But then she realized ponies at her age were kind of having cutie marks now. So she uh, went to a souvenir shop and stole a bunch of smiley face stickers. Her cutie mark is literally a sticker. <laughs> it's a fucking sticker, dude! 
which I think which, that is uh, hilarious. I would normally be mad about cutie marks like this, but that's perfect. <laughs> that's perfect. We would be mad it if it is lo- a stickler. We would be mad if it looked like a sticker and it was a normal pony. But this yeah, is a changeling, and it's literally a sticker. Or it is a sticker, but it doesn't look like a sticker. <laughs> it just go- like God damn it! At the moment, she doesn't have a job. She enjoys swimming and dancing and winning the affection of the lover of someone while dancing to feed on their love. Yeah, that's a way of staying alive. Her uh, pony form is super cute. It's true. It's true. Yeah. It's like it's like this one actually knew more about pony society before going in. It was like, oh, hey, look. These more are what cute. ponies more look like. Okay. Well, she kind of def- already had the pony personality. She fits more as a pony than she does as a changeling. <laughs> yeah. Would pony out of ten? On a scale of one to pony, probably. Probably. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> it's like a delayed reaction, just like a... <laughs> that's kind of that's kinda everything on this pony. I feel like I would enjoy a fanfiction about this horse, or this bug. I feel like every single one of them so far, I want to like read a fic about seriously. Yeah, yeah. Honestly, these are all these have all been really good so far. Yeah, like a fun like uh, duo dynamic fanfic, right? Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> it would only be a duo dynamic fanfic if it was written from your OC side. <laughs> Mine wouldn't even pay attention to Harkin. The only thing I'm not really, I don't really understand is. Uh, she mentions different types of changelings existing, and they all match with a specific color, and that's what the chart on the left is. Is, it? is that what that actually is? Assumably. Which, yeah, would mean, which would mean that she feeds off love, however, it wouldn't make sense because Chrysalis's changelings are green, and green yeah. here is amazement or trust? Uh, trust. Yeah, trust. So I feel like that color chart falls apart with that comparison. If that's yeah. at least, is it explained that that's how that color chart works? What yeah, we feed says, on. Well, yeah, I get, I get that. It says what we feed on. Her nest isn't, isn't the only one with different colors, eyes and wings. Go with the color of the color the nest feeds on. So Molly would feed on love. Okay. You can just give her the crystal's eyes and. Or you can just remove the love thing in gen, or the uh, color thing in general, and just stick with changeling with weird eyes. Cause I mean, or you or, can rework you the could, color thing. Yeah, I'd say rework the color thing to make green love. I like, I kind of like the color things, but I, I just kind of wish that changelings no, could feel feed like, feed on more things than just love. I feel like the color thing wouldn't work as well because, like, the changelings when they attacked Canterlot weren't feeding off of love. No, they weren't, but. Chrysalis was feeding off love, and she was just completely feeding on love. They they weren't draining away anyone in the attack. They were just attacking. I like it. Yeah, no, I like, I, like her. I like her. I think the pony form's cute. Uh, the the changeling looks. I don't, it, it looks like very, really different. It's creepy. And I love it. Definitely looks different in artistic wise. Also, why does she have a missing hole in her ear when she's a pony, but not when she's a changeling? Because that was. Um, <laughs> I didn't even realize. That. Shark, shark ears. <laughs> That's very strange. Uh, and also, I feel like her changeling is missing horn and wings. That is, that does look like. Maybe she's an Earth pony changeling. Um. And and I know you put true form there to represent changeling form, but again, I'm kind of with smooth on the side where. All changelings, their true form is a drone, unless specified as a queen, and you def and you specified her mother as a queen, so she would be a drone in comparison. Or it's specified that like in your head canon, there's a specific class of changelings, and it's there is something that specifically makes them this different thing. Like maybe they're, they're just a class that doesn't leave the hive or something like that. I think this character is super cute. And I feel like with the few tweaks we uh, gave here, this character could be really good. Sticker I approve of.